Hello, this is Victor from Launch Excel, and today I'm going to take you through a quick review of a new online training course about dashboards that's been created by my online training hub. So if you enjoy the review and you find it helpful, just check out the link to find out more at the end of the video. So the first question to ask is, what are Excel dashboards and why would you want to learn about them? Well, with an Excel dashboard, uh, you can create a very eye-catching report just like this one. You'll see at a glance the key stats for in this case Australian tourist accommodation. Not only can you create eye-catching reports but these are interactive and you can see here there is a drop-down menu which you can use to select different parts of the information to display or hide. Now these reports they are eye-catching but they're also useful and the skills for creating dashboards in Excel are in high demand. You know, uh, I just had a quick look on LinkedIn and today, which is the uh, 5th of November 2012, I checked out the dashboard skills in Excel on LinkedIn and because LinkedIn is such a big professional uh, networking site, um, the figures that you see on LinkedIn for skills are a good indicator of what people are looking for and what people are reporting. What I saw was a 15% year-on-year growth in the reported skill of Excel dashboards. So more and more people are trying to learn dashboards and showing that they can use dashboards. Now that they aren't that widespread yet, so dashboard skills are still um, very desirable because not many people have them. And once you gain them, you will stand out, especially if you're looking for a, a new job or perhaps to expand your existing role or maybe just to wow your boss. These reports are also known as performance dashboards, sometimes KPI dashboards and metrics, uh, dashboard metrics, that you might hear these terms being used. And if you're a data analyst or a financial analyst or a business analyst of some sort, then Excel dashboards are a great way to combine um, data analysis and data reporting onto one clean page. Here is another dashboard. This shows Australian overseas arrivals and departures figures for 2008, 2009 and 2010. This is a second dashboard that's been taken from the course and as part of this online course which I'll talk through later uh, you'll get to see how this was constructed and see how the techniques were uh, put together to create this one very nice dashboard report. Now the first thing to note is it fits on the screen. It's a one page report that gives a great overview of the stats. You can read it from top to bottom, left to right, and you can also see interrelationships such as that between the different years. And it gives you a very easy way to compare, say, 2008 figures to 2009, 2009 to 2010. Now, the second thing that's great about this is that it makes a good use of charts to visually present the data. Now, data in tables is useful uh, if you want to see precise figures. But data in charts gives you an, a much better way of visualizing trends. And so you can see the trend here is upwards from 2008 to 2009 and even more upwards from 2009 to 2010. So giving charts, uh, mixing charts together with data in tables allows you to see trends as well as to see the actual figures. Now here, uh, this third element I'd like to highlight is a slider, the third and fourth. So this slider here, you'll see, can be moved left and right. And as part of the course, um, you'll see how Excel has certain form controls that you can embed onto the uh, spreadsheet. So your worksheet will have this form control that slides left and right. And you can then link that to this chart and then show different figures depending on whether you want to show November 2010 or December 2010. Or you want to go back to a different month. So the chart automatically updates as you slide the slider left or right. It's the same with this one here. So these are independent sliders. You can choose to slide them to different dates. And you can set this up however you want it. And the final thing I'd like to highlight is the check mark. And here uh, is another nice little visual indicator. Just next to these bullet charts, which uh, show, so not bullet charts, these in-cell charts. So a nice little visual indicator just to show uh, whether something has increased or decreased or what, what change has happened to it. And overall combined those features 
make dashboards a very powerful reporting tool. You can see trends quickly, you can see relationships between data, and you can actually see the numbers presented in details. But it highlights exactly the things you want to show, and it doesn't confuse the reader, or a, a well-defined, a well-designed dashboard doesn't confuse the reader. So there's a lot of things on here, but they're all useful. And this is one of the things that's great about dashboard reports. So let's get on to the online dashboard course. This was created by my online training hub and the teacher on the course is called Minda. And she's been creating this uh, to help integrate knowledge of data analysis, charting, pivot tables, uh, macros, all into one nice um, integrated course. It's an online video course and what that means is you'll have access to uh, over four hours of video, direct four hours of videos just on dashboard, like principles, um, techniques, tips and tricks, and you'll get three sample dashboards. And the videos and dashboards, if you choose the view only uh, option, then you'll only get to view the videos, but there is a download option which case you can actually download the videos for viewing. Uh, the sample dashboards can be downloaded anytime and they're yours to keep. But in addition to the four hours of dashboard videos, there's an additional three hours or three or more hours of Excel training. Now, sometimes you may find that the um, the dashboard material, the, the techniques used are a bit foreign to you. So you may, fain, you may think, uh, how do I go about using pivot tables or how do I go about using lookup formulas and there are quite a few bonus hours of additional Excel training that are linked uh, within the course and if you come across something you're not sure of there's often an, uh, a bit of additional Excel training either to help you remind you of how to do something or to show you from um, from the start how to do something in Excel. You get 24 hour access to the videos and it's a 12 month membership course so you get a whole 12 months once you pay the upfront fee and you get a lot of personal support from the um, the teacher and Minda is very responsive I've seen her reply on mostly on the same day or the next day and if you post a question to her uh, if you, in the comments or if you email her you'll get a response very quickly the other thing I'd like to mention is you get a certificate of completion if you've completed the course and you want something to say I've done it look I can I have these dashboard skills now you don't have to do this but it's a nice additional thing if you want to show on your CV for example you can um, you can show a future employer uh, I've completed this online dashboard course and I have the certificate to prove it now let's go th quickly through the course design I'm sure you're interested to know what exactly is in the course well it is video based which is great if you want to watch the techniques being demonstrated in Excel and it's very fast paced because Minda wastes no time um, going through um, she just goes straight to the principles shows the techniques shows how they work and puts them into practice now here's a little note here uh, just to just to say that if you prefer to work with text or if you want a written reference manual then this course because it's video based it doesn't have very much text in it there are a few PowerPoint slides um, and presentations to summarize data but if you prefer reading through a reference manual then you should check out Charlie Kidd's dashboard ebook which is called dashboard reporting with Excel and you can find it here and if you go through this link it's um, www.launchexcel.com forward slash Excel user one word dash ebook that's Excel user dash ebook and Charlie Kidd's uh, ebook comes with um, about 200 pages of very very useful principles techniques and tips and tricks for how to create dashboard reporting with Excel and it's definitely worth checking that out too now as for the actual course contents uh, the first couple of chapters in the course talk about design and display principles so how do you effectively display data how do you prepare it in order to present it they're very useful uh, sessions to have you can obviously skip those sessions but they're very useful to go through this maybe half an hour's worth of principles 
Then it goes on to explaining form controls and how you use those to interact with the um, spreadsheet. You used to be super before you saw the uh, slider, which you could use to go left and right. And there's sometimes drop down menus that you can use to expand options and l allow the, the user to choose different options. So once these once you know how to use form controls, uh, Minda will show you how to use them in an interactive spreadsheet and use them to drive charts so that when you change something on a form control, it's linked to the chart and the chart will update. Now the third thing that, they'll, that Minda goes through is actual data analysis functions such as lookup functions and also how to use pivot tables. And after that there's a little bit of simple uh, automation with macros as well as how to use an, a Microsoft Access database uh, to extract data from and display that in the dashboard. The final sessions talk about distributing the dashboard and this is where you may want to think about security and protection and Minda goes through a few of those key topics too. Now what about the files, the sample files? Well you get some homework so after you've gone through the videos and you've mastered the te techniques, you get to have one practice challenge at the end of the course. And the task in the practice challenge is to create a dashboard to show leads and sales performance. And you have a set of dummy data and some instructions uh, asking you to say name, to, tr to find out the top sales people, etc, etc. And so you've got dummy data, it's, it's more than 2000 rows of leads data and 2,000 rows of sales data and at the moment I can't find any examples provided of a complete dummy, sorry, of a complete um, dashboard but if you're stuck on this challenge Minda will be more than happy to help you. I know she's very responsive as I said before and if you ask her a question or if you want some help on creating this dashboard with the homework challenge then just let her know and I'm sure she'll be willing to help. Now there are other download files too. As I mentioned before, there were some PowerPoint presentations of certain sessions, and these summarize, for example, the key principles of how you display a dashboard. You also get to download three complete sample dashboards, which demonstrate the principles in action. And you also get the demo files used to record each of the video lessons. So each of the individual tips, uh, techniques, each of the individual principles lessons, you'll see the demo files used to demonstrate, for example, form controls or pivot tables. And finally, this is the one I like quite a lot, you, you get an index file here that you can sort by category, uh, you can sort it by lesson title and session number. So if you can remember something, uh, say, two or three months into the course, you remember looking at uh, form controls, but you can't remember what lesson you you saw them in. You just open up the index file and then do a sort by lesson title and look for uh, look for the right lesson, and that will show you uh, which session to look in. So it's a very useful way to go back to review material, but it's also a useful way to go forward if you want to just uh, if, if for example if you're familiar with most of the lesson. Uh, you can skip lessons and go to the sessions that you prefer to learn about. So this index file is a very useful thing. And all these are available as download files. And you can keep all of these for future reference. So beyond the 12 months, uh, you have 12 months of access to the videos, but the download files you can keep forever. And of course if you go with the, there's a separate download option, in which case you can download the actual videos too. Now talking about videos, uh, I thought I'd talk about course access. You get 24-7 internet access, but what this means is you need quite a fast connection to stream the video lessons. Uh, they're hosted on a private server. You won't have any trouble with the corporate firewalls blocking access to YouTube. And I know some of you have told me that uh, your company blocks access to YouTube, which means you can't watch my videos on YouTube very easily, but you will have no problem accessing this course, or you should have no problem accessing this course, even if your corporate firewall blocks sites like YouTube. And as I said before, there is a download option which is available at an extra cost, and what this does is it allows you to download 
all the videos so you can see them uh, in your own time without internet access. Now the online support uh, it's worth mentioning because the course creator, Minda Treacy, she personally answers your dashboard questions. If you email her directly or if you post comments at the end of every dashboard lesson, there's a comment section there. If you post a question, then she's very responsive and I've often seen her reply on the same day or perhaps the next day. She's gone through and posted many excellent answers in response to questions asked in the comment section. So once you get on the course and you watch the videos, feel free to ask her any questions and she'll be more than happy to help. Finally, a little word about suitability. Who's this course designed for? Uh, in terms of Excel versions, the course was recorded using Excel 2010, so the videos show the Excel 2010 menu system, um, but most of the course is suitable for either Excel 2007 or 2010. Uh, the one thing to note is that the, a feature called Slices, um, hang on a moment, a feature called Slices is not available in Excel, oh, sorry I keep slicing that word, <laughs> Slices, let's do that again, so Slices are not available in Excel 2007. So they are an Excel 2010 feature and there are possibly another handful of figures, uh, features that are available just in Excel 2010. Now the sample files and video may also be suitable for Mac users but certain menu items, tips and tricks and features won't translate 100% to the Mac platform so just bear that in mind. And as for the level of proficiency, this is um, definitely not a course for total beginners. If you've used Excel for a couple of weeks then you will struggle with this course. If you've used it for a couple of months you'll probably also have quite a hard time unless you've you've gone through some other spreadsheet software before. Well, I recommend if you have let's say a year or two of experience you know how to use charts and formulas you can create new charts, you can modify existing charts, you know how to use simple lookup formulas and some simple data analysis formulas, some sums, some counts, some averages. If you've got experience with those um, features then you should be able to take this course no problem. It also helps if you have experience with pivot tables. Uh, pivot tables form controls and some detailed lookup formulas. So if you have experience with those it will make the course even easier. Well, what the course does is shows you how to integrate all these different features into um, into a, a one nice dashboard report and how to bring them all together to work nicely. So you definitely can't take this course. I, sh I recommend you do not take this course if you're a beginner. But if you're an intermediate user who who knows about charts, formulas, maybe has done some pivot tables, maybe a little bit of macros and form controls, then you'll have no problem taking this course. So let's listen to a little bit of what other people say. Um, I've taken these testimonials from my online training hub and this is feedback provided by actual users, people who have downloaded the course or viewed the course. Clay Chilcott says, without question this course has caused me to reevaluate how I am building my reports, charts and graphs. Tony Maguire says, I have taken a whole new approach to producing my monthly reporting pack for the executive management team using the techniques and tips learned in your course. Martin Lewis says, I would like to thank you for the great dashboard training. I have already begun to use some of the new techniques in setting up reporting to upper management. I would categorize myself as an intermediate user of Excel. The course was easy to understand for my level and very well demonstrated. I hope you have found this review helpful. If there are any further questions that you'd like to ask, just leave a comment below and I'd be happy to answer. Remember to check out the dashboard course today if you're interested. www.launchexcel.com forward slash myhub dashboard.